Now, for all of you who were with us at the beginning of this show, yes. there's a game called Cards of Humanity. Yes. Or Cards Against Humanity. Against Humanity. Question number two. And look, the first question, if you saw it way back at the beginning, we want you guys to tell us which one of us had the better answer. Okay. And all of you need to, I'm not going to say run out and buy this game, but now, let's look into this. these are answers we found on the game. I right. These are not things we came up with. came up with. People would be like, damn. You got black fun. cards that are question cards and, and these white are the cards actually that are answers. answer cards. Mm -hmm. Now, we did cheat a little bit. We're not playing this legitimately because you should have ten white cards and you have to go through them. But for the sake of this show and you wanting us to hurry up. yeah. So here's the question. What are my parents hiding from me? What are my parents hiding from me? Eight ounces of sweet Mexican black tar heroin. What are my parents hiding from me? Stephen Hawkins talking dirty. <laughs> hey, baby, mm, take off your pants. Let Did me see your, your honey. Up my ass. Mm, yeah, yeah I, think my Kevin, <laughs> I think Kevin won that one. Okay. I, I can't compete with anything about Stephen Hawkins. Now, with that... In place, we need you guys to tell us who won that round. Okay. I, I think Kevin did. And um, now it's on to the NBA playoffs. The NBA. Um, Miami well, gave you a gift for Christmas, eh? They did. I mean, George... That yeah. game was a lot closer than A, I wanted it to be, and two, I thought it should be. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you what, Kobe, eh, stay on the bench, Pippen. Yeah. Man. I mean, I, obviously, being a Lakers fan, the, the Lakers are playing much better with... And you know what? By the time Kobe Bryant gets back, it's probably going to disrupt the harmony. I mean, if they can get these other players back, they could maybe possibly be an eighth seed if everything went their way. But uh. And I'm going to tell you what, as a Heat fan, as you all know, because mm -hmm. I'm a LeBron fan, thus that makes me a Heat fan, um, they saw the, the same thing and the mm -hmm. same knock, because it's the same team as they had last year, is they have no low post presence. They have no one to rebound. They have no one to put the ball back. Yeah. And that was no more evident when, who's that big guy, Jody Meeks and Jordan Hill? Yeah. We're killing the Heat. Yeah. Now let me say that again. Jody Meeks and Jordan Hill. Yeah, Jody you know, Meeks is a guard. Yeah. And he's out rebounding the heat. And do you I know mean, who I saw on a milk carton this morning? Jo Jody Meeks and Jordan Hill, because I've never heard of them, so I put out an APB as who are these guys. <laughs> Jordan Hill's pretty nasty. But yeah, they, they're just, they're like, you know, I'm going to tell you what's funny. Speaking of people you don't know about, you name me one starter on the Phoenix Suns. Now, I'm going to tell you what, somebody who, unless you live in Arizona, if you're from Arizona, don't, this shit doesn't count. The Phoenix Suns, okay, are fucking 17 and 10. And they're fuck, they're 17 and 10, and they have nobody. Right. Nobody that's a big name on their team. And, and let me, that, that's a coach, coach, you know who's coaching them? Jeff Hornacek. And I tell you what, the other team that's doing something right along those lines is Portland. Yeah. Por Portland is top five or six in multiple categories, and they don't have a player in the top 10 in no. those categories. Oh. It's just amazing. They're and like the old Pistons when they, they won the champion the it's, Lakers. It's good to see, but here's one thing. Bobby, who follows our show and has Bobby. Helped, helped us out in a mm -hmm. tremendous amount of way, doing all kinds of things and been helpful and easy to get a hold of, which is mm -hmm. amazing, yeah. um, posed the question. And I'm going to answer it from my point of view, and then Kevin can jump in or even jump in in the middle. Mm -hmm. Kevin White. Kevin White, Jesus Christ. Kevin Love. I banged on him when he first came into the league. I thought he was Don't soft. ever say I banged on Kevin White. Okay? okay, okay. Just stop. Think about what you're saying, okay? Motherfucker. Don't even say my name and I banged on it in the same sense. You really, you really name, messing it up, George. What I named my punching bag because it's black and short. So I banged on my Bam, bam. Stop, stop. Anyway, oh, I gave Kevin Love a hard okay. time when he first came to the league because he was pudgy. He didn't take care of his body. He looked sloppy. And now, and I'd say in the past two or three seasons, he's molded himself and his game into probably in a league that no really doesn't emphasize big men as they emphasize. used to. Mm -hmm. is, he's easily top three or four power forward in the league. Yeah. Hands down. And mm -hmm. then Bobby said, is he not getting, why is he not getting the attention that he is? And the first thing, and I'm not going to kid it, you, pops into mind, two things. A, he plays in Minnesota, and B, he's white. To me, either he's going to get the attention because there's going to be people who say he gets the attention because he's white, mm -hmm. or he doesn't get the attention because he's white. Well, this, uh, is, this is the thing. I don't think it's so much because he's white. I think that he's just, there's better players out there. That, that's me personally. At why? his position? Uh, I'm solely, his, solely at his, his position. Oh, are you, he's saying top five at his position? Uh, for me, that, that's oh, I thought he was saying top five in the league. Do you say well, he's at five? least top ten in the league. Yeah, te definitely he's, top ten. But I mean, you go right away, if you say right away, is he better than LeBron? LeBron no. Um, uh, Paul George? Mm, they, see, to me, you can't really compare but, those But two you're people. saying players, George. Right. LeBron, that's the thing. See, this is where LeBron, Paul George, Kevin Durant, you know what I'm saying? People say CP3. I mean, Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. I mean, we could go on. I and think he's, he's I, I think, put it this way, if this was a fantasy draft, mm -hmm. I think he goes in the top 10. 
Oh, absolutely. Because of the but points I, and boards he puts up night in and night out. I think when you talk the first seven or eight is pretty tough. I mean, there's great, like, when Dirk was, was, Nowitzki was nasty, he Who? was definitely, see, well, now he's, you know, Who? but, <laughs> Dirk, Dirk, and look, I'm going to tell you what, when, when the Lakers were winning championships, people loved Gasol. I mean, people, people went crazy on Gasol. Mm -hmm. He was one of the top players. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it just. Do you think he'll be a Laker at the end of the season? Because there's, there's rumors that he wants to go to Memphis and play with his brother. Yeah, he, I, I don't, I don't think, I think they, I think they just need to completely implode the team. This is going to be like when, Back when Magic said, I, I've got AIDS, a deuces. You know what I mean? Is that on the cards? I don't know. I'm sure. But, uh, <laughs> but, but, but it's true. It took the Lakers like eight years to rebuild. Right. They had Nick Van Exel and all these other motherfuckers nobody heard of. Now, Kevin has the NBA power rankings up from ESPN. Yeah. I've got the NBA power rankings up from NBA.com. And these guys who do the power rankings for ESPN, I'm, if I hope you guys are watching the show, fucking quit. Cause you guys suck. I now, mean, I terrible. agree with their number one team. They both have Oklahoma City. And I mean, after that absolute dismantling of the Knicks, now, uh, look, it's not the Knicks it used to be. Mm -hmm. That's another team that just needs to quit. Just stop. Yeah. Blow the team up. Get, yeah. let Carmelo go wherever he wants. Mm -hmm. Unless you can trade him, just let, let Carmelo go. Let him roll. Tell Armari to go back to Phoenix and, 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 and play there because somehow they have the fountain of youth and play. He's no good. Mm -hmm. J.R. Smith is worn out as welcome. He got the ball yesterday and they were booing him in New York. He's just, just, just a, the Knicks are in bad shape. They're in bad shape, man. And, and they have been in bad shape for, I mean, since to me, since Pat Ewing. <laughs> John Starks and Charles and Jeff Van Gundy, man. I mean, Charles we, he's hanging on motherfuckers. Let me life. ask you a question: mm -hmm. If you had as much money as Charles Oakley did back then, would you let your hair look like that? He don't give a fuck. That's not what I'm asking. I mean, them, he had snaps. I Those mean, things them, look tough. Oh, he had to take painkillers before he combed them shits. Believe me. Now, you can believe that. On to the number two team. NBA.com has Portland, and I can't argue with that because Portland's twenty-three and five. Now, ESPN has the uh, has the Pacers, I, which. I could see either one of those teams. I could see either but one. But then this is when things get a little weird. Now, one, I'll let George go on because then you have the, right now on ESPN, you have the Thunder, the Pacers, the Spurs, the Clippers, the Trailblazers. All those teams are ahead of the Heat. Okay. Now, this is the funny thing. How the fuck do you put the fucking Clippers ahead of the Trailblazers? The Clippers just lost the fucking Golden State the other night. The Clippers have dropped like what, 10 games this season more? Nice. How, how are you going to put them ahead of the Trailblazers? Uh, and then put them ahead of the Heat. The Clippers. The Clippers. I'm like, I, I, I just don't get it. They've got the Heat sitting at number six and the Trailblazers sitting at number five. Please quit making rankings, bitches. Just stop. Fucking stop. What's the motherfucker's name? You talk to people, right? What's the name? Right. Hollinger. Quit. <laughs> NBA.com has something I think is a little more reasonable. Miami's sitting at three and at 20 and six. And look, we still understand they, they lack the rebounding presence. But when you still have LeBron James, and obviously they're, they're saving their guys minutes. And I think this is what championship teams do. They realize, yeah, the Heat want first place and the Heat want home court advantage throughout the playoffs. But they're not killing themselves minutes wise, and they're yeah. still what a game back of the Pacers. They're not far. They're right there, man. And the Pacers, I mean, on the other hand, starting five are averaging over thirty minutes a pop. Their next closest guy coming off the bench is only getting fifteen. And they they were down a man, the Pacers. But the problem, the thing is, is and, and that's basketball. The, you know, you have to let your right. guys. It's basketball. Like players get hurt, and then you. <laughs> yeah. But it's players get hurt. That's basketball. Players get hurt. And all of a sudden, your other guys have to pick up, you know, put in more minutes. Well, you saw what happened with in Los Angeles when Kobe was doing that shit. Pop, snap, crack right. He's so, Rice Krispies as Achilles. Pacers you know I are said at, it like that on purpose. <laughs> Pacers are at four, Clippers five, Spurs six, Suns seven, Rockets eight, Golden State nine, and somehow the Hawks are squeaking in at number ten. The Hawks? The Hawks. Yeah. So... I mean, the Wizards are on fi number 15 on the list. You know what I mean? And they're, they're a game under 500. They agree. Cause, mm -hmm. da -sa. Anyway, um, it's still young in the NBA season because, you know, they, I mean, we don't really talk about it a lot until like February. I think, I think at the all-star break, you're going to see where the Pacers head coach mindset's at. Mm -hmm. If his guys, and he should have at least two or three all-stars, if all three of them go in and play, in the All-Star game, mm -hmm. he's not thinking about the future. He's think they're thinking about like, oh, cool, you're in the All-Star game, go play. Yeah. If your guys are averaging over 30 minutes a game with Paul George close, I think 35, 37. Yeah. I understand you're young. 82 games, 
That's a long way to go. And yeah. considering the Heat are only having two players at over 30 minutes, the Spurs had one in Tony Parker. These guys, they're still, all three of those teams have, what, 20 wins? Yeah, you I know mean, it's just, that's going to be hard to keep up the, for the, the Pacers. Heat, the Heat, you know, the Heat's coach and, 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 if you look across their counterpart over on the West, the, the Spurs, they're going to be, they're going to play. Pop is going to play his, his team, his players conservatively, let them sit certain games. I think Eric, uh, is going to let, Estrada. yeah, Eric Estrada. No, I, yeah, I can say, Spolstra? What yeah. is it? What Eric is it? Spolstra. Is it Spolstra? Or is it Estrada? Or Spolestra? Is it Spolstra? Estrada. Estrada? Estrada. Estrada. Bro. Oh my god. Now, buddy. anyway, I think you're going to see those guys letting them rest, you know, because they're older. And uh, they have an older roster. They're going to rest them more. And I think this guy in Indiana, to some degree, he might say, you know, I want these guys to keep playing as a unit. It's good. It's it's a chance. And, and I agree with George. It's a big chance because someone fucking gets hurt, then you're fucked. Yeah. You know. Anyway, um, we're getting ready to wrap it up. But before we do, we got one, one more, more question. question. So, for if you've missed the first question, go back to the beginning of the whole show. Mm -hmm. If you missed the second question, go back to in between these two shows. Mm -hmm. Now, what have we been playing? Cards Against Humanity. And no, we're not getting paid to endorse this. This is just how we think, and we think it's going to be a fun game. Yeah. And for you people who are twisted and more adult-esque, you don't play this with kids. Okay. I ask a question, you have the answers. The answers are on white cards. You get ten white cards, you have to answer something on the black card. Kevin and I cheat a little bit. So, anyway. I got 99 problems, but blank ain't one. I got 99 problems, but copying a feel ain't one. I got 99 problems, but altar boys ain't one. <laughs> I'm good as shit as this. <laughs> <laughs>